towards Jammu and now we are at Bigand Soni Patnagar so it's a national highway and uh, this lucky travel is actually broken down you know they're working on uh, the what exactly is they're trying out what is the error and they're getting the first fix in the meanwhile uh, we just stop here at uh, Mahakal Chai stall so they're having some refreshments so I'll just go get one exactly we're having it Uh, a tea with one elaichi rusk so stay tuned hope we travel to kashmir soon and uh, i'll keep you updated guys So as soon as we woke up, uh, we came across this uh, paneer trader where uh, he's selling all of this paneer. Hey, one kilo, how much? Two ninety. Two ninety. One kilo. So one kilo of paneer costs two hundred and ninety rupees. Seems super fresh. So cool. All the way from Jammu, where uh, we got down at uh, the city bus stop, and from there we just got fresh up. We had breakfast at uh, one of the outlet, which is uh, Vaishnav Restaurant, and uh, mainly this hub is where a lot of tourism takes place. So if you can see, there is a uh, tours and travels company where we got this uh, Tavera from. So the number is JK zero three five nine seven two. And uh, it is costing us rupees seven hundred. Seven hundred to go to Sangam, correct? And it it is not a back seat. And it is not a back seat. Okay, it's not a back seat. Uh, it's a regular but, seat. Uh, my means sitting next to driver or center seat. Yes. So basically, we are sitting right next to driver itself. It was and happened because of our friend from Kashmir. Exactly. So he spoke and, on the uh, off. So this place is the first hub where there will be lot of people. We will come to you and ask where you want to go. So at least we came across like 30 to 40 people who came to us. Then they were asking, "Abu, kaam pe jana chahiye." 1200. Uh, what's the price <laughs> and stuff? So this is the vehicle, and uh, we also see that there is lot of uh, you know like uh, shopping stuff happening. Any trousers that you get here is just for rupees hundred, guys. So if you are uh, if you just forgot to get your clothing, don't worry. There is lot of clothing here as well. But since we it's a refurbished one. Each one of them are costing rupees hundred. This is the general bus stand where we got down. Also, they are saying uh, if we are lucky enough, we will reach uh, Sangam in four hours. But if it's the other way, there are sometimes where we'll have to take two days just to reach Sangam. So hopefully, uh, we'll be reaching Sangam soon and we'll be meeting our friends soon. Cheers. It's been around uh, 15 minutes that we started our uh, journey towards Sangam, but uh, just a cop has pulled us off. And uh, here you can see our driver is uh, having a chat with the cop. You can have a chat here. So uh, I think they'll have to pay some extra fines and stuff because we have come here as a tourist. So it seems he's having a tough time. So once he pays the amount, we are again proceeding on a trip with. So, 
gonna be updating you what's happening here. So, have my ass right next to me. And he's currently taking care of the songs. So, let's see what happens. path will be struck right here as we discussed earlier it might even extend till 8 hours or even a day as well where we might reach in the midnight so this is uh, one one of the moment so please be ready i mean this might actually extend as well
Wazir Bag, and uh, you can see that uh, we'll be visiting the. That's the first location that we're visiting. They provide this watermelon with salt and lemon. Lot of tourists coming here. What is the ticket price here? Okay. One ticket is twenty-five rupees, and we got we got two tickets. So this is one of the healthiest breakfast anyone can have. We also had omelette, pumpkin, and chai at uh, one of our friends' place. So let's go. So speak your heart out. But now it, the, there'll be a difference in the language. It's nothing but it will be in Kashmiri. So if you see here, we have the same content written in the Kashmiri language and the Urdu language with my name Amrit Kumar ERP. So super excited for this campaign to happen in Kashmir, which is one of the best travel destination in the world, and. Uh, here once we enter we come across a lot of people and super excited so cheers ha <laughs> Hi, so today the hungry officer is reporting all the way from Incha Biryani, and now we are at Jab Kashmir. Yes. So first you can see we have ordered finally a Kashmiri biryani. Just take a look at this biryani. We have this really really fresh rice, which is looks similar to basmati rice. We have the ginger garlic paste as well with tender chicken. I'll show you how this chicken looks first. Just take a look at this chicken. Completely crispy, super juicy in the inside. Fresh meat. I just love this taste. Along with this, take a look at this rice. It's very similar to basmati. Is it basmati? It's basmati rice. Okay, it's basmati rice. I love the taste. At the house of Chinars, which is very popular, known known for these beautiful trees right here. They are at Bij Bihara, Kashmir, and uh, we have uh, two amazing gentlemen right next to me. And you, 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 You did the chart. Okay, you can come and speak with us. Hi. So, yeah. What is the chart all about? 
you can, as you can see, there is other two things also. Okay. One is depicting the greenery, another is depicting the destruction which could be in the future. Correct. So you can see this is especially for the environment. How could we protect the environment? Like here, it is already written save earth, save environment. Okay. So how we are going to protect our environment, save our environment by reducing the pollution. Mm -hmm. As you can see, global warming is going to hit in a bad manner. So, so this portion is especially for the, it is the bad side. It indicates the pollution and this indicates the past, how we were and how we are now. Okay. So you can see. So this is depicted really well in this uh, picture, by the way. So I have one simple question. Okay, so the trees, do they release carbon dioxide in the morning or at night? Do they release carbon dioxide in the morning or at night? Both in morning as well as night. Both morning and night. Yes. Are you sure about this? Maybe I am wrong but... Okay, you as a student, I really don't know. Maybe you can ask your teacher, no, I don't know. I am still a college uh, student. It is not uh, up to the like... Concept that photosynthesis is occurring at the day, but another step of photosynthesis that is direct that is occurring that is light independent, it can occur anytime, it can occur in night as well as in uh, the morning. So, like you are exhaling the carbon dioxide, they are inhaling the CO2. So it is the every time, it is the process like we are respiring, we are breathing. This is the type of breathing for this. We have excellent answers from the students who are from Oxford High School, Bijbihada. So, thank you so much. So, uh, I think better would be just they do want uh, a good experience of you, sir, because they have not met any outsider. Correct. I would say uh, the people who live in uh, other states. So, uh, it will give them a good time to like, just go for the interaction of all that. Correct. And plus, just you will get the vibe, yeah. you will get the feel of Kashmir <laughs> when you are going to communicate with them. Exactly. Okay? There will be little things like I would be exchange, exchanging with you. Yeah. Uh, like in Kashmir, uh, what do we see? So you have to just try to just say, it, uh, say it to me in the same language as I will be communicating it to you. Okay. And then after this you have to tell me the same things what to call it in Bengali or... Uh, Bengaluru, yeah. Kannada. Yeah, yeah. Kannada. Yeah, yeah, Kannada. Kannada. Okay, okay, okay. Like, uh, simple first thing that whenever you are uh, you have seen this the beauty yeah. of the Kashmir okay so what is the first thing that comes what's the first word that comes into your mind like about the to praise the beauty of the Kashmir or apni zuban mein apni Say, Marshall, how big it is. I Hindi. In Canada. In Canada. In Canada, it's going to be something like this. Sarga. This is what I like. We say that. But I will be not able to say it. But I will tell you in Kashmir. When we go to a happy place, in Kashmir, we call it like that. Ha. It's a happy place. It's a happy place. It's a happy place. I learned Kashmiri. I'll get a certificate from that school now. Yeah, yeah. It's how the things go there. Okay. So uh, I think they must be having a big review. Okay. For sure. Yes, please. Do you all love racing cars? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to hear racing cars now? Yes. Ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> but this is one racing car. If you come across around three to four racing cars, whose sound is Are you ready? Yes. yes. Fasten your seat belts, okay? okay? Three, two, one, go. Alright, so now we are at the wood processing unit and uh, 
we are having the same food as all those uh, food workers so the once the wood is processed they're going to have the piece like this it's corn flour with chapati mm namkeen chai it has lot of salt it gives it's a very good source of energy as well So basically, it's a pencil manufacturing unit where uh, the graphite is being put inside the wooden pencils. So now we are at Malhama, and you can see that on the right side we have the pear plant, P E A R, pear plant, which is grown. And how much time does it take to grow this? It will take uh, three months. Almost three months to grow the pear plant. Can you know which plant is this? Apple plant. Okay, all of this is the apple plants. Yeah. And it takes how much time to grow it? It will take uh, three months. Only. Three months. Weather here is outstanding. You can see the flowers. You can see the trees. Excellent place for agriculture as well. Hi so right now the hungry officer is reporting all the way from Sonmark which is near Ladakh so you can see the top glaciers right there we have the snow on the top uh, right now we are near this uh, petrol bunk where we are getting our uh, car fuel here heavy load vehicles please maintain good amount of distance from the cars because uh, be be super safe also while traveling have a good navigation carry sufficient charge in your cell phones because uh, sometimes you might come across there will be no signals so that's one most important thing most important carry thick thick clothing that's the most important one adaptable to snow places you can also see the view right there the top so it's fabulous view on the top again
sugar and coconut this is being uh, you know considered as the welcome gesture here all these army persons here are guarding at the top of this uh, station called captain mod captain baba so if you just come up here Jai Hind. So this is Amrit Kumar reporting from Ladakh with the Forces Army Stores logo. It's a perfect snow right here. You can see perfect snow, and uh, here you can see that we have this brochure with us. Along with this, we also have as you can come closer. Also, we have these uh, cards. So this we're going to be distributing to all the army personnel at Ladakh region where we'll convey a word how the Indian army is being powered is being provided more support from our stores so this is just the beginning we have a long way to go towards Ladakh it's definitely heaven on earth going fabulous by the way i have my amazing set of friends all right there i mean i'm truly blessed guys none of this was even planned it's all random so all i wanna say is i wanna thank god i wanna thank my parents i thank my family all my good friends all my business partners i've been blessed god has been kind to me cheers to life मेडिकल शॉप नियर बाय द इजीएस्ट लैंडमार्क फॉर अस वुड बी द स्कूल व्हिच इज राइट हियर आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द प्लेस वेयर वी आर स्टेइंग एज ऑफ नाउ बिस्किट ए पे लिया था भाई साहब इधर आप चेंज करवा सकते हैं ये डेट हो गया सो 
this date uh, this uh, school name is uh, the government higher girls school so this is the landmark government girls higher secondary school kargil binoculars for a much more detailed view of uh, the entire pakistan region where you can see the region behind the trees that you see in the greens right there they have the bunkers on the uh, the rear side of the trees also they have the dargahs for the prayers so once you just uh, move towards this way it was all in the year 1999 that uh, the kargil war had taken place so all the shellings and all the firing was from there that is nh1 national highway 1 uh, in which we lost uh, lot of soldiers lot of soldiers and now we can just proceed towards the other side so this is called the andaman loc view point where it's uh, under construction right now i think yes it was in a constructed way maybe we could have got the access but as it is under maintenance Going towards this way, we can proceed. So here you can see, we can proceed much more. So there are few Indian Army bunkers as well, from where uh, we still need to protect this LOC. Where there can be random shellings and uh, firing that can take place. We also have a water line right there. There is streamline of water. Uh, we also heard that uh, few outlets, few shops here at Kargil still have the the firing bullet marks. So all the shelling that took place, yes, those shops still have those marks. It was in the year 1999, and uh, it was pretty difficult for the Indian Army to. Cross the borders because it was always snowing from the top. So there, there were a lot of majors, a lot of captains from the Indian Army who lost their lives. So they had invaded on the top of the mountain when it was snowing, which was very difficult for the Indian Army to cross the boundary. So it was being occupied from the Pakistani Army. This is one of the historical place that we are right now. So even today, once you just zoom in, you'll be able to see the bunker right there, complete straight. That is from the Indian Army bunker. Was still even today serving soldiers to protect our country in the borders. So once you look at the Indian Army, same way right there. Once you see the greens, there we have the Pakistani Army. You, once you zoom in, you can still see the bunkers of the Pakistani army. When it comes to the immediate rescue and the immediate landing of the helicopters and choppers of the Indian army, you can once you zoom in right there, you have the helipad, which is for immediate landing for any emergency operations. And as you can see, for this tough terrains, when it goes to extreme temperatures, all we need is uh, some really excellent all-weather boots with a perfect multi-functional combat. pants as well and when the temperature rises of course you need good amount of water i'll just show you the bottle that we are carrying right now it's a pretty tough tough material once you just open it one extra feature that i saw is it's still cold to be honest the water inside is still cold enough the outside temperature doesn't affect the water inside So all thanks to the one and only forces army stores, and uh, at this location, this historic location, always we uh, proudly want to say that the Indian Army is being serving here from decades to serve 
the citizens in much more safety and for the entire nation's growth thank you so much which is at the height of 13,479 feet which is also at the highest point on Srinagar Lay, Lay Road and you can see that all the motorcyclists here it's more of uh, you know uh, a belief that if they have these flags it's a belief that their trip goes really great it has the different colors like yellow, green, blue uh, most of the motorcyclists here are uh, having either Royal Enfield or uh, KTM Dukes uh, it's a great place by the way the weather here must be at least around uh, 2 degrees or yeah, 3 degrees, 2 degrees, that's it. So it's extremely cold here. We have, we have a vehicle right there. So we'll be heading towards the next destination. Zamut Kumar signing off. Thank you so much. This is Amrit reporting all the way from Harkuli Bankuli where the Pakistani army invaders had come to this point where uh, they encountered with the Indian army soldiers. So you can see this location. This looks completely remote area. Even now we have the force with uh, the soldiers and uh, these are all the bunkers where there is ammunition and the location is called Harkuli Bankuli. Also, you can have a closer look at the national flag which is right there. Our Indian Army soldiers who could not uh, survive, their bodies are actually buried there. Which means, we, we believe that they are still alive. They are all the brave souls who have fought for the main against the Pakistani armies. Zanskar River from the valley itself. So right now we are at the desert. Uh, 
Desert Oasis Residency guest house. We came across this gentleman who is all the way from uh, the Leh itself. What's your name? Mohammed Umesh. Mohammed Umesh. Okay. Who's your cycle? What's your cycle? ये हम भी चला सकते हैं नहीं क्यों आ, सेल्फी सेल्फी बस हम नहीं चला सकते साइकिल को कभी कभी इसका ब्रेक अच्छा और ये क्या होता है ये फ्लैक्स क्या होता है अच्छा और हमारा साइज का शर्ट मिलेगा <laughs> मिलेगा <laughs> और आपको ये दांत कहाँ चले गए हाँ, ये तो अभी निकल रहा है। अच्छा कब आएंगे वापस <laughs> कब वापस आएंगे सच अ जीवन Now we are at the top of the lay palace that is at the 8th floor. Let's take a look at the building. You can only can look at the top location from here. The main reason it's around 400 years old. This palace gives you an entire view of the entire city. Look here. can go extreme with minus 30 degrees celsius at the winter but when it's summer it is a complete tourist place for the entire world people from all over the world visit ladakh these bells i mean these look so beautiful Weapons and all the ammunition which were used during the wars. So the entry 
please, would be rupees two fifty for each individual. You also have the price list. We'll just uh, get in closer. Yes. We'll be also discussing the different place of interest here. So we are right here. Now at Lane, we have lot of other locations to be visited. Here you have the price list as well. charges for uh, different mobile access and if in case you're taking a photo or vlogs as well.